Salve Regina, Mate Misericordiae, Vita Docelo, et spes nostra salve. A te clamamos, ex soles fili eve, a te suspiramos. Gementes et flentes, in ac lacrimarum fale. Ea ergo, arvocata nostra, illos tuos misericordes oculos, ad nos converte. Et Jesum benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exilium ostene. O clemens, O In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, this morning we rejoice in the first Holy Communion of some of our first communicants. We welcome everybody who is joining us on the live stream to join in this uh, wonderful celebration and to rejoice in the gift of the Eucharist. Dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly beseech the Lord our God to bless this water he has created, which will be sprinkled on us as a memorial of our baptism. May he help us by his grace to remain faithful to the spirit we have received. Lord our God, in your mercy be present to your people's prayers, and for us who recall the wondrous work of our creation and the still greater work of our redemption, graciously bless this water, for you created water to make the fields fruitful and to refresh and cleanse our bodies. You also made water the instrument of your mercy, for through water you freed your people from slavery and quenched their thirst in the desert. Through water the prophets proclaimed the new covenant you were to enter upon with the human race. And last of all, through water, which Christ made holy in the Jordan, you have renewed our corrupted nature in the bath of regeneration. Therefore, let this water be for us a memorial of the baptism we have received and grant that we may share in the gladness of our brothers and sisters who at Easter have received their baptism. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, cleanse us of our sins, and through the celebration of this Eucharist, make us worthy to share the table of his kingdom. Amen. Amen.
Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of joy, which we keep in honor of the risen Lord, and that what we believe in remembrance we may always hold to in what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of Apostles. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip when they heard it and saw the signs he was doing. For unclean spirits crying out in a loud voice came out of many possessed people and many paralyzed or crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. Now, when the apostles in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent them Peter and John, who went down and prayed for them, that they might receive the Holy Spirit. For it had not yet fell upon any of them, they had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Shout joyfully to God, all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of his name. Proclaim his glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. 
Tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. He has changed the sea into dry land. Through the river they passed on foot. Therefore, let us rejoice in him. He rules by his might forever. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. Blessed be God who refused me not my prayer or his kindness. Let all the earth cry out to God with A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts. Always be ready to give an explanation to anyone who asks you for a reason for your hope. But do it with gentleness and reverence, keeping your conscience clear so that when you are maligned, those who defame your good conduct in Christ may themselves be put to shame. For it is better to suffer for good, doing good, if that be the will of God, than doing evil. For Christ also suffered for sins once, the righteous for the sake of the right unrighteous, and he might lead you to God. Put to death in flesh, he was brought to life in spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always, the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot accept, because it neither sees nor knows him. But you know him, because he remains with you and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans, I will come to you. In a little while the world will no longer see me, but you will see me, 
because I live and you will live. On that day, you will realize I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. And whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You may be seated. Lexi, Valentina, and Galaxy. Today is a very important day in your life, one that I'm sure that you will remember for the rest of your life. And so this day, I want you to remember three things. The first is that Jesus does not lie. If Jesus lied, he wouldn't be God. And we know that Jesus is God. The second is that Jesus makes a promise to you today. And that promise we read in the gospel. He promises you today that I will remain in you. So you probably ask, well, how does he remain in me? I don't see him. I see my mom, I see my dad, I see my friends, but I don't see Jesus. How is he going to remain in me? How do I meet Jesus? He gives us the gift of faith. And that means that you trust in his word because he doesn't lie. Now, an example of this would be in your daily life. There are so many things in your life that you believe that you don't physically see. An example is outer space. You believe that the moon exists and all these planets exist out there. But only up until recently do we actually see images and, and videos of it. But again, we don't physically see it for our own self. Our eyes don't physically see it. But we trust that it exists. In the same way, the Lord is asking us to trust in him and his word. To have faith that when he says, this is my body and this is my blood, that it's just that. You've waited for a very long time. You've seen your parents and your siblings come up for communion. But today is your day. Today, Jesus is making a promise to you that when you come forward, and Monsignor will say, the body of Christ, and you say, amen, that is truly his body and his blood that will remain in you. And that amen amen, is not simply a word that you just say. It means something. And it means that I trust in you and I believe in you. So in that moment when you come up and you receive for the first time and you say amen, that's what you're saying. You're saying that you believe that that is the body of Christ and that he will remain in you. And it comes to this third point and that Jesus is asking you to make a promise to him today. A promise that you trust him. That you trust that he will remain in you in the good times when things are going great but more especially in the most difficult times of your life. Because in the word itself, First Communion, this, is, this should not be your last. That as you make a promise to come to Mass every Sunday and receive him, you make a commitment. And he also makes a commitment to you. And so here we are today in the midst of this church, in this pandemic, you may be a bit nervous, you may be a bit excited, and those are all fine. But the one thing that we want you to know is that we're praying for you. And we hope that this is not your last communion, but first of many. And that you come to trust in him and believe in him. Because when he says he will remain in you, he will. And if you ask him to help you, And if you ask him to help you believe, he will do it. 
because Jesus does not lie. He's God. Let us profess the apostolic faith. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord has promised not to leave us orphans. Counting on the boundless mercy of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we now pray. For the church, that our shepherds continue to faithfully nourish us, with both the Word of God and the Eucharist. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the faithful, that the Lord will draw us more deeply into the mystery of the Eucharist. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parents and those who have passed on the faith to us, that the Lord will continue to strengthen them to be courageous witnesses to the faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Monsignor Sayak, our catechists, teachers, and all who have helped our children in their preparation for the first confession and Holy Communion, that the Lord continue to give them strength needed to continue their ministry. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Valentina, Galaxy, and Lexi, who will receive the first communion today, that the grace they receive today will continue to strengthen them in their spiritual life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faithful departed, in particular to those who have passed on the faith to us, that the Lord will look mercifully upon them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we know that you hear our prayers and attend to our needs. Increase in us the virtues of faith, hope, and love through Christ our Lord. Amen.
corpus nascit, de Maria Virgine, vere pasum immolato, in cruce probine, cuius natus perforat, Luxit aqua et sanguine. Est o nobis pregostatum, mortis in examine. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice and yours for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, he never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Alexis, with Saint Valentine, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Alexander, our Bishop, Peter, his assistant, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace, grant us Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Godhead here in hiding, whom I do adore. Masked by these bare shadows, shape and nothing more. See, Lord, at thy service, low lies here a Lost, all lost in one. At the God thou art. Seeing, touching, tasting, are in thee deceived. How says trusty hearing that shall be believed? What God's Son has told me, take for truth I do. Truth himself speaks truly, for there's nothing true. On the cross thy God made no sign to man. Here thy very manhood steals from human care. Both are my confession. Both are my belief, and I pray the prayer of the dying thief. I am not like Thomas, wounds I cannot see, but can plainly call thee, Lord and God as he. This faith each day deeper be my holding on. Daily make me harder 
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before the final blessing, we congratulate these young ladies in their first Holy Communion and for all those who will be receiving their, their Holy Communion in these days here at the parish. Let us keep them and their families in our prayers. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be God. to God. Sing my tongue the Savior's glory, of his flesh the mystery sing, of the blood all price exceeding, shed by our immortal King, destined for the world's redemption from a noble 
Word made flesh, the bread of nature. By his word to flesh he turns. Wine into his blood he changes. What though sense no change discerns. Only be the heart in earnest. Faith her lesson with.